guys got a great night's rest and feel ready for the day. I woke up thinking about word problems. I can't get them out of my head. Do you guys know what word problems are? Logan, what is a word problem? A word problem is a math equation but in, put into a sentence. You're right. It's when we use sentences to write math equations. But it's a little tricky because they use a lot of words sometimes. And some of the words are important and some are not. So today, while we're talking about word problems, we want to listen for some important keywords like increased by, more than, combined, together, total, sum, or added to. Because we know that if we hear those words in the word problem, we know that we're going to solve it with an addition equation. Okay. Before we get started, I'm wondering if you guys know what these are. These are really fun tools. Marco, what are these? Well, I've played these at home. You've used these before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. At what animal? We have to revoke whatever animal um, I, um, do, um, whatever my animal it lands on, um, that's what, um, that's what I have to fill, and it has to get to ten. And and if it gets to ten, the um that animal wins. You're on the right track. We are going to also be using these to play a game. But first, we game. need the information to play our game. And before we can do that, we need to just review whole body listening because I love it when you give me your attention. It makes me feel super special. So when I'm reading, what are our eyes doing? Show me. They are looking at the reader. And what are our ears doing? They are listening for details. And our mouth is quiet as can be. And our hands are to ourself. Our body is still. Our brains are thinking. And our hearts are peaceful. Can we all do that? I know, because you do it every day so wonderfully. All right. So. Today, though, it's a little different than even just a word problem because this is a word story where there's going to be a bunch of word problems that tell a really fun story about animals. So, Animals on Board by Stuart Murphy. My truck chugs slowly down the road, carrying a special load. I'm the driver. My name is Jill. I make sure that my load won't spill. Give me just one moment, okay? A big green truck goes roaring past. Three fierce tigers count them fast. Let's count them together, okay? Get ready? Um, Go. Two, One, two, two three. three. Three tigers. Don't look now. Here come two more. Show me with your finger, two more. Add them up and they might roar. So they told us that we had three fierce tigers and two more came roaring past. So now how would we set up that equation? How many tigers did we have at first? Please show me with your fingers. Three, correct. So we're going to take our three tigers and put them right here. And then how many came later on? Please show me with your fingers. Two, correct. We have two more come and join. And so now let's look for some key details. How do we know how to solve this problem? Well, they told us that there's two more, and they told us right there, add them up. So with those keywords, is this going to be an addition equation? Yes, Marco? It's the um, addition equation. It is an addition equation. So we're going to use a plus sign. So it's going to go right here, and then there's our equation. So now, <coughs> we're going to count them together so that we can get the sum, the total. All right. So... Get ready, go. One, two, three. Wonderful. So we have three tigers. And then we're going to bring down that plus sign. Now we're going to count the next cluster. Get ready, go. One, two. Perfect. So now we have two tigers. We have our equation set up. Three plus two equals, we need to count them all together. Get ready, go. One, two, three, four, four five. five. So we have five tigers total. Yes, Marco? Mm, why is that thing up there on the class? I'm not sure. Another student must have put him up there. 
All right, six white swans are passing by. They have wings, but they don't fly. So how many swans are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Pink. Look out now, here comes another. It's their little brother. So they added Maybe. one more. So six plus one equals seven. What's this funny thing I see? Four frogs are passing me. How many frogs are there? So now we know the first bit of information. There are four frogs. My truck keeps moving, it doesn't stop. Four more frogs pass, hip, hip, hop. So there's some more information. How many more do we have? And that key word, more. So let's set up our equation. How many frogs do I need from the first part of our word problem? Four. Four, correct. So let's put our four frogs right here. We need another four frogs. And then how many frogs joined them? How many four. did they pass on four. the road? Four. four more, correct. So now we have our next group of four. And they told us more. So does that confirm that we need an addition symbol? It does. And so we put that right in the middle. And now we're going to do the same thing that we did here. And we're going to count them together, okay? So get ready, go. One, One two, two, three, four. four. Wonderful. And then we're just gonna carry down that addition sign and we're gonna count the next group. Get ready, go. One, One two, three, four. Four more frogs. And so now we're gonna count them all together. Get ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight frogs in total. That is a lot of frogs, and I bet they make a lot of noise. Rabbit. Just like that. <laughs> One more truck is passing now. Seven prancing horses. Wow. Then another truck I see. This one holds another three. So we have our wow. seven horses, and then three more joined them, and that equals ten. And here is what our equation would look like, just like we were doing here. I love if you have a question, I love it when you raise your hand. That lets me know you have something to add and lets me know that I should give you a turn to speak. The next truck holds a splendid sight. Nine plump pandas, black and white. So how many are there? How many pandas Nine. are there? Nine. Correct. I a red truck <laughs> passes me with care. What's in the back? What's in the back of this truck? Nothing. Show me with your hand. So now we need to set up our equation. Show how many pandas did we start out with on the first truck? Marco? Nine. nine. Correct. Nine pandas. So we have. That's another person. <gasps> what? I love it when I have your attention. Okay, let's set this up. The first things first. What information do we have? We know that there are how many pandas? Let's count. Get ready, go. One, One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Correct, so we know that there are nine pandas. And then how many pandas joined them? Mark None. Uh, one, two. How many joined them? Four. Four. Nine. Zero. Yeah. Zero. Correct. We have nine pandas and zero joined them. Correct. Great job. I know you worked hard to get that one. So there's nothing here that's so tricky, right? It's just a blank. But we can put our equal sign there, letting us know there's nothing. So let's add them all together. Get ready. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Nothing, right? Nothing. That would not be ten because there's nothing. Just nine. And I that's our answer. I said nine and you said ten. All Stop right. Wonderful. Boys, I would really appreciate if you were showing me respect, eyes on me, hands to ourselves, all of those wonderful things. And look, our equation matches theirs. Nine pandas plus no pandas, zero, gives us nine pandas. On the front, there's a special sign. Time for me to get in line. 
At last I've reached my final stop. My truck held the tippy top. So now that all our work is done, it's finally time to have some fun. Can you find five tigers, seven swans, eight frogs, Nine. 10 horses, and nine pandas? They're all mixed together. This is the opposite, it's my turn speaking, right? This is the opposite of last lesson. Yesterday, we sorted them by color, size, habitat, shape, and on this page, they're all mixed up. That's so silly. But now, we get to have some fun. We're going to take our dice and play a game. Each of you will get equation sheets. They're going to be blank. We're going to be creating word problems with these dice, working together to roll them to determine an animal type and a number. We'll create word problems, and then you guys are going to use your equation sheet to come up with how to solve them. And it is going to be so much fun. Are we ready? Great. 